I know your works. You are neither hot nor cold. Would that you were either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. Revelations 3, 15 through 17. Okay, one more time, and then I want to take a little break because you're wearing me out. Okay, Dad. This time, I'm going to throw my curve. Okay, throw your curve. How was that, Dad? Did it curve? <laughs> Did it curve? Curved about two feet. That was great. Get on over here. So many churchgoers today that call themselves Christians are in fact fooling themselves. They're living in sin throughout the week and floating through redemption on Sunday. That is unless it doesn't interfere with their football game. <laughs> I need to talk to you for a second about something really serious. Okay, it's about your mom and I. Luke, your mom and I are going to split up. What does split up mean? Oh, you know how you and mommy and I all live in the same house together? Yes. Here, one, two, three, up to go. Well, you and mommy are gonna live in the same house, but daddy, I am going to go live, I'm going to go live in another house, another house special for daddy. You're not going to be my daddy anymore? Oh, I'm always going to be your daddy, silly, just like you're always going to be my son, but sometimes mommies and daddies just need to live in separate houses. No, I don't want you to leave. I want you to live with mommy and me. I know that, buddy, but sometimes... No! Boy, I'm going to tell mommy to let you stay. It's not that easy, son. Luke, hey, Luke! Luke, we'll throw the ball some more. Come on! Luke! Luke! Yeah. But the lukewarm spiritual life is dangerous. It's dangerous because those that are lukewarm have just enough pretense of religion to think that they're okay. I cannot believe you fell asleep again and put your phone away. But that's not what God wants. God wants wholehearted, sincere love. Anything less means that something else is a higher priority. Those who want just the minimum requirement, enough of the Lord to get by, they risk missing it. Missing him all together. Amen. The first time I get you to come to church with me in weeks and you just doze off right in the middle of the sermon. Honey, you know how hard it was for me to get out of bed this morning. Don't you realize how late I was up working last night? Working or playing? Okay, that's not fair. Just because Sam and I like to goof off sometimes, that doesn't make me a bad guy. I know, you're right. I'm sorry. Promise me you'll just get home earlier on Saturday nights. Okay. I promise. Okay. Well, well, well. Luke Rogers. I thought you'd been kidnapped or something. Uh, where you been so long? Sorry, John. I've been meaning to make it here for a while, but uh, it's been pretty crazy at work lately. 
Oh yeah, you've been putting in overtime down at the factory? I, I hear they've been laying off some folks. Yeah, yeah, I was actually one of the lucky ones to get laid off. I'm sorry to hear that, Luca. Don't be, it turned out to be a great thing. I had the potential to make three times what I was making at the factory. Really? Well, what kind of work are you doing? Well... Come on. Luke, do a shot with me. Come on. No, I don't, I don't think so. Oh, come on, baby. Slam one down with me. You better do what she says. I'm good. Thank you, though. For shame, I will join you. Um, to shots, and uh, to youth beautiful ladies, and to me getting your numbers later. Cheers. Uh -huh. <clears throat> That's a good shot. And there's more where that came from. I'll be back. I don't need anything from you, or that God of yours. Mr. Rockwell, I only wanted to invite you to our church service next Sunday. This is what I think of your stupid church paper. Jesus freak. You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. I feel like punching that guy in his face sometimes. Nah, Luke. Why do you even waste your breath on guys like that? Why do doctors help the sick? The Lord wants me to help that man. And I'm gonna keep on trying. Thomas, you're never gonna be able to change anybody like that. We'll see. Nice seeing you, Luke. early. I'm sorry, Sam and I had to stay after and make sure some customers got in their cabs. Female customers? Yeah, some of them. <sighs> Baby, you know you're the only one for me. I love you. What's wrong? It feels like we're living in sin here, and I just... When are we gonna get married? Not this again. What was that? Don't you think it's a little old-fashioned? Well, Pastor Keebley doesn't seem to think so. Well, Pastor Keebley knows a lot of things. Luke. Your father called again. He said it was important for you to call him back. Then he misses you. Baby, it's your father. Jesse, how many times do I have to tell you? He ran off on me and my mom. Okay, I don't want anything to do with him. It was 20 years ago. Can't you try to move on?
Here you are. Hi, Harry. How you doing today? Oh, not too bad, I suppose. How you doing? You still hanging out with that crazy boyfriend of yours? You bet. When you gonna dump him and marry me? <laughs> no, Harry, you know I'm safe for time. Well, you can't blame an old bum for trying, can you? Oh, here, let me get you more water. Oh, well, thank you, sweetheart. You're very welcome. Matthew? Hi, what a surprise. Do you want a piece with lots of icing? I want a piece with lots of icing. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, hang on. It's your father. He wants to wish you a happy birthday. Hello? But you promised to be here, Daddy. Okay. I will. Okay, next week. Yo, buddy. Yeah. It is dead in here. Let's go for a joyride. Come on. No. I gotta get home early tonight and see Jesse. Come on, really? Look, this is all part of the job description. Making the customer happy. You know what I mean? Besides, we haven't hung out in a long time. I'm starting to forget who you are. All right. Uh huh. That's what I thought. Hey Sam, how much longer are we gonna be out? Oh, I don't know. What did we decide, girls? Five, six hours? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I just think I should be getting home soon, you know? Why on earth would you wanna do something like that? Don't bother giving him any of that, sweetheart. Luke's got church in the morning. Ain't that right, Luke? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sam. Do you think we should be drinking and driving like this? Don't tell me you're one of those holier-than-thous. No, not really. I'm more of a, a spiritual person than an old-fashioned Christian. Me too. I'm a Virgo. What's your sign? Spiritual. You know, I will never understand how a smart guy like you can buy into such nonsense. I mean, religion is just a, a business scam, like anything else. You know, we all came from apes anyway. It's scientifically proven. <laughs> yeah, at one time it was scientifically proven that the Earth was flat. No, I'm talking about evolution, man. Survival of the fittest is the only truth this world has to offer. Besides, if God exists, and, and that's a big if, why is there so much hate and injustice in the world, huh? No loving God would allow all that to go down on a daily basis, I'll tell you that much. It just doesn't make sense. Yes, he's serious. Okay, he's serious. Hang on, buddy.
Okay, I got a little present for you. Thank you. All right. All right, now you remember, God loves you, huh? All right. Thanks for the wonderful time, CV. The name's Sam, Jenny. Who's Jenny? <laughs> Whatever. I'm sorry, I don't have any chains on me. But uh, come to think of it, I'm, I'm getting a little hungry. Name's Thomas Jones. What's your name, friend? Harry. Come on, Harry. I'd like to thank the Lord before we begin eating. <laughs> Dear Lord, bless this food which we're about to receive. Please let it nourish our bodies and strengthen us so that we may do your will. Please accept my thanks for bringing my friend Harry into my life. Bless him, Lord, and guide him through these tough economic times. This we ask in Jesus' name, amen. You always do that before you eat? Pray? Yes. It's important to thank the Lord for the meal he provided. Do you ever pray, Harry? I used to. Can't say it ever did me much good. Never underestimate the power of prayer, Harry. Have you ever thought about asking God into your heart, Harry? <laughs> I don't know what good it would do. I figure I'm already pretty much a goner. My ticket's already been punched. No one's beyond saving, Harry. You simply have to ask the Lord into your heart. It's just that easy. Thank you, Thomas. For everything. I was nothing. I just shared a meal with you. <laughs> now, you uh, read that Bible. I marked the and highlighted some scriptures that I want you to pay attention to. All right, take care, friend. I'll see you next week. I think everyone in this park would be better off if you just clear out of here. 
This place is for decent folk. I feel sorry for you, Mr. Rockwell. Your hatred's consuming your soul. But don't, don't worry about it. I'll pray for you. Don't you dare pray for me. I don't need anything from you or that god of yours. You better find a new place to live. You got one week, old man. Hey, what's the matter with you? You mind your own business, boy. The guy's an old man, George. Just leave him alone. That old Bible thumper is ruining the integrity of this place. Now he's bringing bums around Integrity? Here. What yeah. integrity? We live in a motel turned apartments, George. Look around. George, this guy's nose looks a little big, if you ask me. You know, you're right. And he keeps putting it in other people's business. Look, guys. Maybe you need to leave. That could be arranged. Guys, just relax. Okay, he's an old man, that's all I'm saying. I'll do what I want to, whenever I want to. Is that understood? Is that understood? The man asked you a question. Yeah, whatever. Good. Now you stay out of my business. Harry, are you reading the Bible? Sure am. My friend Thomas gave it to me. Oh, Tom, I didn't know he was here tonight. Not that Thomas. That guy is so greedy, he wouldn't give me the time of day. <laughs> this is another Thomas. I, I met him this afternoon. Nice fella, this guy. He invited me over to his motel room over on Pilgrim Street. He even fed me lunch. You know, I bet you that's the same Thomas that I know. He actually lives right next door to us. He told me about things I had never heard before, about Jesus and and other things, and, and well, I'm a, I'm a new man. I got a whole new outlook on life. It's like my life has started over again. And, well, as of today, I am officially saved. Mary, that's wonderful. I'm so happy for you. You should come by my church sometime. Oh, no, no, I couldn't do that. Not, not in these old rags. Besides, those folks in your church, they'd, they wouldn't take too kindly to some old man like me, looks like me and smells like me. Harry, our church welcomes everybody. And as Christians, it's not our job to judge other people. Don't be afraid, you'll fit in just fine. <laughs> okay, I tell you what. Why don't, before you leave, you come by and see me. I uh, just got a blue suit that was donated, and if I'm not mistaken, it's just your size. All right. That sounds real nice. It's a date. Okay, then. See? See what? I told you one of these days I'd get you to go out with me. <laughs> Luke? <sighs> a little late. But it's still a nice surprise. Come on in. Thomas, I need to talk to you. Is everything all right? Um, would you like some uh, coffee or tea? Yeah, some strong coffee could do me some good right now. Thanks. Billy, you over there?
No, no, no! Wake up. And said, wake up! Come on! Harry! Harry! You okay? Harry! So what's on your mind? I saw what happened between you and George earlier today. I think we need to talk to the manager. <laughs> oh, I don't pay George no mind. I'm gonna get through to him one day. I'm gonna break him down with kindness. Thomas, let's be realistic here. It's gonna take a little bit more than kindness to fix that guy. Luke, let me tell you something about me. Something about myself that you might not know. My daddy grew up in Alabama. And back in those days, there was a lot of mean folks walking around like George. My daddy had scars on his back from the time when some folks drove by him in their pickup truck and they uh, smacked him with barbed wire. He had a deformity in his left eye from the time when he was beaten senseless in a restaurant because he accidentally sat down in the white section. My dad was so full of hate that that demon consumed his life and he became a drunk. My father couldn't uh, handle the anger that he felt for those mean people in that town. So he drank himself into an early grave. I was just a boy when he died. I told myself right then, that I would never, I would never allow myself to be consumed by that kind of anger. And that's when I found Jesus. And Jesus saved me. It became a part of my daily life. That's when I found peace. It sounds like our fathers have a lot in common, Thomas. Mine's still alive, but we don't talk anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Lord knows I, I'd give just about anything if I could talk to my dad again. Not me. Really? Why? He wrecked my life when I was a kid. Luke, I want you to pray with me right now. I, I don't think that. Please, Luke. Heavenly Father, I want you to help Luke Rogers right now with the pain and the anger that he's been carrying around with him for so long. Give him the strength to forgive. Bless him in his time of need, Lord. This I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesse. Oh, look who woke up on the right side of the bed this morning. You know, I, I think it's about time we get married. Married? Luke, are you feeling all right? Jessica Marie Silver. 
You make me the happiest man on the earth. And marry me. Yes. Yes, of course I'll marry you. I know it's not much, but it's only temporary until I can afford a better one. I don't care. I've been waiting for you to ask me that for years. I love you so much. I love you too. Get a uh, fan it quick. What did you do? I'm sorry. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Then why don't we start with breakfast? I'll take you out. We need to celebrate. I wish I could, but I have to be at the shelter in an hour. But we're still in for lunch, right? Oh, well, uh, I completely forgot. I can't. Sam asked me to come into work today. But you promised, and I have a huge surprise plan. I'll talk to Sam, see if he can hold the place down by himself for a couple hours. I'm sure he won't be able to say no when he finds out I'm engaged. Hey. <laughs> oh. Hello? Yeah, this is she. Thank you for coming down, ma'am. We decided to call the shelter once we determined the victim was homeless. They gave us your number. I know it's not an easy thing to do, but we thought you may recognize him. Uh, is it Harry? Do you know his last name? No, I... I am... Uh, I'm sure I can find it on file at the shelter, though. Now, I can assure you we're doing everything we can to figure out what happened. So far, we only have one witness, but he was too far away to give us any solid leads. Do you know how he died? From what we can gather, the victim was out collecting cans and crossed the street just as a silver SUV rounded the corner and struck him. The driver fled the scene, and our witness couldn't give us an exact make or model of the vehicle. No plate number or driver description either. Everything all right, sir? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just horrible. Are we done here? Yes, ma'am. I'll keep you updated with any new developments. Okay, thank you. Thank you, officer. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mommy. Hey, baby, how was your weekend? It was great. Dad took me to the carnival, and I got to ride the big roller coaster. Wow, very cool. Hey, I made you some cookies. They're in the kitchen. Go grab yourself some, okay? okay. Let me talk to your dad real quick. Yeah, I love you. I had fun. Okay. Don't forget to do your laundry. I won't. All right. Hey, listen, I, um, I really need that support check. The bills are piling up. I'm doing what I can, Rose. I'll get to it. Love you, buddy. Hey, you slow down. Did your dad starve you this weekend? No. Stacy's a good cook. She made spaghetti. <sighs> Stacy, huh? I guess that's your dad's new girlfriend. Yeah, she's nice. I'm glad. Listen, there's something I need to talk to you about, okay? Okay. I know that you really, really wanted those guitar lessons, you know? But I just, I don't think we can afford them right now. I'm sorry. But you promised, Mommy. I've waited so long. I know, I know, baby. It's just that your daddy didn't give us the check he's supposed to each month, and I just talked to him, and it's probably gonna be a while longer before he gets caught up. I wish Daddy hadn't taken me to the carnival this weekend. Hey, you having dreams about your dad again? I'm fine. We better get ready if we're gonna make it to lunch. Okay. Hey. 
You know, we don't have to do this today if you don't want to. No, I know, but I'm okay. Are you sure? You still look a little shaken up from this morning. I... Well, if it isn't my two favorite people in the world. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Matthew, what are you doing? Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? I, uh, I thought you were some big shot lawyer in New York. Still am. I've um, come back to take care of some unfinished business, so yeah, I'll probably be here in town for the next few weeks. Unfinished business? Nothing you need to worry about. Come on, I got us a table. Let's eat. I'm surprised. <laughs> but hey, let's not bring up the accident and try and have fun reconnecting with Matt, okay? Okay. So you two are getting married. It's great. Um, a toast. To the both of you. So, um, you're working at the uh, Inferno these days, huh? That's right. I can't believe that place is still around. Do you remember we used to sneak in there when we were kids? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sam Harrod owns it now, actually. He bought it about two years ago. Said he'll make me a partner soon. Sam Harrod? Wasn't he that, like, crazy guy? Still is. Yeah, I, I never pictured a churchgoer like yourself working in a place like that. It's just... Well, not all Christians live like the Amish, you know. We're allowed to have fun sometimes. So, how about you, Miss Jessie? What are you up to these days? Oh, um... I'm sure your life in the Big Apple is way more exciting than mine. Living in the world's most famous city is not always what it's cracked up to be. For example, um, I was running late for work and... Oh, wow. Look at the time. Um, we gotta go, Matt. Sorry, Sam's probably overwhelmed with, with happy hour right now, but it was great seeing you again. Um, you two both can't leave. We, we haven't even finished lunch yet. How about you, Jesse? Another mimosa? No, no, I'm fine, thank you. I never drink this early. <laughs> Those things are basically orange juice anyways. Look, he's right. Jess, just because I have to go doesn't mean you have to. Oh, come on. I, I can take you home right afterwards. One more drink won't hurt, right? All right. Okay. Just one more drink, I guess. <laughs> All right. It's settled then. You two have fun. Okay. Matt, it's great seeing you. You too, bud. wonderful surprise. Hey, and Luke, don't worry. I get your bride to be home safe and sound. Thanks, bud. Bye. <laughs> Looks like Luke's doing really good at the old inferno, huh? Oh, it's just... Temporary, you know, at the factory and they off and off. It's really good to see you today, Jess. Had a, had a really good time. You know, it's really lonely in the big city. It's not like here. I can actually walk into a store and people will remember me. They actually know my name. Where I live now, on the other hand, it's nothing but fast-talking suits that only care about something if it has to do with them. Well, what about your love life? I mean, I'm sure there are plenty of yeah. beautiful women that live in New York City. Not like you, Jess. When I look at you, I see so much life and hope. I see the most beautiful human being that I've ever laid eyes on. Thanks for the ride. What'll it be? One Cosmo, please. Coming right up. 
So the cops said they have no idea who did it, huh? What? Oh, that, uh, yeah, they said they know it's a guy in a silver SUV, but other than that, they don't know anything. Well, good thing the guy was just a bum, right? Not like he was contributing to society or anything. Come on, Sam. It's kind of harsh, don't you think? Hey, can you see me? I've been standing here for like 10 minutes. Yeah, all right. Sit in the front house. We're here. We're here. This is awesome. All right, what's your drink, pal? Vodka soda. You'll never guess who I had dinner with today. Who's that? Matthew Peake. Matthew, huh? What's a guy like that doing back here? Not sure. I guess visiting for a few weekends? It's a waste of time. That guy's got to have something up his sleeve to want to come back to this town. Don't worry, man. I got it. All right. Hurry up, because I'm in the weeds here. All right. Need some ID, guys. Right here, sir. Does he get a free drink? Yeah, you should. You only turned 21 once. Happy birthday, man. What'll it be? Um, I don't know. I've never had a drink before. Never? What do you recommend? Start him off right, give him a shot. Whiskey should do the job? Yeah, whiskey. All right, coming right up. Here you go, birthday boy. I cannot believe I'm about to do this. Whew. Hey, here's to birthdays and never going back. First one's always the toughest. Y'all have a wonderful night. All right, come back tomorrow. That's it, man. We are officially closed for the night. Did you check the bathroom? No. Well, you might want to. Some guy was peeking his guts out in there earlier. Might need some cleaning. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Kidding me. Hey, kid. Hey. Come on, pal. It's time to go. Huh? What? Where are your friends at? Hmm? Where'd your friends go? What? Friends go? Oh. All right. Come on, kid. Come on. Come on. I'll call you, cat. Hey. Hey. I know you. You're the man that gave me my very first drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on, kid. Use your legs, let's go. You know, I don't think I like drunk much. <laughs> I know, come Make sure you get some safe, would you? Yeah. Sure thing, pal. Hey, ready to go? Yeah, just gotta finish up in the bathroom real quick. All right, well, in that case, I'm gonna take off. You going out with that blonde again tonight? What blonde? The one you went home with last night? Don't you remember? Oh yeah. You know, they all start looking the same after a while. Where'd you two go anyways? Dude, what is with all the questions? Can a guy take a girl out without getting the third degree? I mean, come on. I just worry about you, Sam. I noticed a, uh, a rather large dent in your car. Did you get into an accident last night? No. No, I mean, it was nothing. I, 
I hit this possum on the way home. That's all. A possum? Really? Come on, Sam, it'd have to be a pretty big possum to do damage like that. Yeah, well, it was a really big possum, all right? Get off my back. Hey, man. I just get worried about you sometimes drinking and driving, that's all. Wow, okay. So, now you think I'm a bad driver. Relax, man. I didn't mean anything by it. All right? Yeah, all right. I just... Look, I'm sorry. Just a little tired tonight. It's fine. I understand. Oh, I, I almost forgot. I'm having some people over here tomorrow, after hours, if you want to come. I don't know. I need to talk to Jesse first. If I didn't know any better, Luke, I'd think you were already married. Howdy, stranger. Hey, Thomas. You missed your church last Sunday? Yeah, I got back a lot later from work Saturday night. I'll probably go next week, though. I hope so. Yeah, hey, can I give you a hand with those? They look a little heavy. <laughs> no thanks, I got them. Today is going to be a great day. Yeah? Why is that? Having lunch with a new Christian brother. Come to think of it, would you like to come? Uh, I would, but... That's okay. Well, enjoy your lunch get-together. All right, Mr. Busy. Have a nice day. See ya. Well, I'll look after that one. Hey, Jesse. What are you doing here, Matthew? Just in the neighborhood. Thought I'd stop by. Where's Luke? He just left a couple minutes ago. But, um, why don't you come in and make yourself at home? Can I be honest with you? And I'm not gonna beat around the bush. The real reason I came back from New York, well, was for you. What are you talking about? I have been in love with you my whole life. I mean, ever since we were little kids, all I've ever wanted was you. be friends but I'm engaged to Luke and I love him look around this place he's got you living in a dump I I can provide so much more for you Matthew love is not about money okay fine he he works in a sleazy bar how much longer do you think he'll be faithful to you Matthew just because he works in a bar does not mean that he's gonna you know I am not having this conversation with you my life with Luke is none of your business, and honestly, I think you need to leave. Jesse, all, all I'm saying is, how much longer do you think it'll take Luke, in an environment like that, to cheat on you? Think about all the women that he's around. Why risk it when you could be with someone that would treat you right? That could take care of you financially and emotionally. Luke is not like that. And I cannot imagine what he would do right now if he knew you were saying all of this, Matthew. Just go back to 
to New York, all right? Leave us alone. Go. I'm gonna pretend like this never happened. Just go. <gasps> Matthew, I told you to. Hello, is that you, Miss Silver? Thomas, hi. Um, how are you? I'm good, good, Miss Silver. Uh, have you seen Harry at the shelter lately? He was uh, supposed to have lunch with me this afternoon. Oh. Thomas, I don't know how to tell you this, Ham. Harry died in a terrible accident. I'm so sorry. Killed? That's horrible. What happened? It was a hit and run, um, and the police don't have much to go on. I'm in a shock. We all are. It's, it's terribly tragic. Well, I'm just glad that I had a chance to minister to him and pray with him. Me too. I'm really going to miss him. Well, he's with the Lord now. In fact, I bet he's smiling down at us right now from heaven. Yes. He is. Thanks to you, Thomas. Okay, you take care, Miss Silver. And, uh, please let me know if you need anything. I will, thank you. Bye. Goodbye. we get married, um, are you gonna try and find another job? No. I make good money at the bar. Why would I want to quit? I don't know. I just thought that that atmosphere might be too tempting for a married man. What's that supposed to mean? I just thought you could find another job more appropriate for a husband. Jess, it's not like I work at a dance club. Okay, we need the money, baby. God knows you're not making anything at the shelter. Don't you dare bring that into this. You know exactly how important it is for me to work at the shelter. Yeah. And if I quit my job, we'll both be spending a lot of time there, won't we? Drinking a lot, missing church on a regular basis. So I guess I can't ever have a beer or go out with Sam because he's not a believer. That is not what I said. There's nothing wrong hanging out with a non-Christian as long as you stay righteous. Okay, I am a very righteous person. Okay, I witness to Sam all the time. He might even be coming to church with us next weekend. Oh, really? Is that before or after you go out on a drinking binge with him? What brought all this on? Nothing. Look, I'm just really worried about what you're becoming. I don't need this right now. Seriously? Luke! <sighs> what do you have? I'm not telling you. Come on. No. Hey, look who it is. What you doing around here so late? You were right, Sam. All she wants to do is control my life. I, I never should have asked her to marry. 
Well, okay. Sam's got just the thing to cheer you up, buddy. Join us. Buffy made a, a poor showing last time, I must say. Oh, they got some pair of aces. You got me. I was bluffing. That's the pizza guy. I'll be right back. I got it, man. Just deal another hand. I'm cleaning you out tonight. Yeah, if you wish. Jessen? Where's the pizza? There's no pizza. Just an ex-fiance. Baby, I can explain. I cannot believe I bought into all of your lies. I thought if I was with a decent Christian that he would treat me differently than other men, but I was completely wrong. No, Jesse, I didn't, nothing happened tonight. I was just hanging out with Sam and a few customers. You're blowing this way out of proportion. How am I blowing this out of proportion? There was a blonde girl hanging out all over you. She's drunk. I was just helping her walk. Luke. I wish I could believe that. I trust in you, Luke. They would forget about her, all right? She was a loser anyway. Don't call her a loser. Luke, chill. Come back in, we'll pour you another drink and we'll hang out, okay? We were having fun, right? Going home. Party's over. Luke. Tell me something, buddy. What do you want to be when you grow up? Given that any thought? A dad, just like you. A dad, just like me? Yep. <laughs> you don't want to be a, a fireman or a policeman or an astronaut, nothing like that? No, sir. I think that being a dad would be the best job in the world. Well, I do too. Put her there. <laughs> Jesse. I didn't know where else to go. Of course, come on in.
Is there something I can do for you, Mr. Rockwell? It's time for you to move out. George, I tell you, I'm not going nowhere. And I told you that you gotta leave here. I'm coming back here every day until you do. Gonna make your life a living hell. I will not be threatened by you, George. And I only answer to one person. Who's that, the man at the welfare office? My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I've had it up to here with this Jesus stuff. It's time for you to know we mean business, old man. Go ahead and grab him. Yeah. Hey, hey, let me go. Let me go. Oh. 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 Where's your Jesus now? Oh. Oh. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's get out of here. Jesse, I'm... I'm so glad that you came to me tonight. Like I said before, I came all this way for you. I have always known that, that you are the woman for me. If you'll have me. Don't. Don't say it, don't you dare ask me that. But I thought that you were I should go. I should have come here. How can you do this? You catch the guy red-handed and you're still hung up over him? Matthew, I still love him. How can you say that? You saw him cheating on him. I don't know that for sure. Yeah, well, seems pretty obvious to me. Okay, Jesse, come back. Oh, God, Thomas. Hold on, Thomas. Hold on. You could be. Police! Police, I need an ambulance to, to uh to 635 Baker Street. Okay, a man's been beaten. Just just hurry, please. So, Thomas, you, you're gonna be okay. You, you'll be just fine. Oh god, just just hold on. Hey, Jesse. I'm so glad you're here. Thank God you were able to get him here. I, there's no telling how long he'd laid on the ground if you hadn't have shown up. <laughs> Thank God? Where was he, John? Where was God when those thugs were beating the living daylights out of that man? You can't blame God for this, Luke. I mean, this was the work of, of evil men. That's plain and simple. It shouldn't have happened. I just feel like destroying the men that did that to him. They have to pay for what they've done. It would go against everything that Thomas stands for. Everything that he took this beating for. I know. I just, just don't know if I have any strength left in me, Pastor. I've been making a lot of mistakes lately. It's never too late to ask for forgiveness, son. It's never too late for that. Luke Rogers? Yes. How is he? Uh, you might want to have a seat. Mr. Rogers, Thomas suffered a severe blow to the temple. His brain has been hemorrhaging badly. It was quite a lot to take for a man of his age. I'm afraid there's not much more we can do at this point. We're just working to keep him comfortable. I'm sorry. Oh, Thomas. You're gonna be 
be okay, Thomas. I promise. I just feel so helpless. I just wish there was something we could do. There is. Yeah. What's that? Pray. I'm going to start a prayer circle for Thomas tomorrow at church. I'd really like it if you would be there. Yeah, I'll be the first one there, John. God bless you, son. Thank you. Hello? You found him? I can't believe I'm being arrested. That old man slipped, you know. He fell down them stairs. There's something you should know, George. I want you to know that Thomas, he's going to die because of what you did. Oh, what a shame. I need your help. Thomas is dying. Please, please bring him back to us. The world needs a, a strong Christian man like him. Because there are too many Christians like me. I know I've strayed from your love, God, but I need your help to straighten out my life again. I need guidance for what I've done to Jesse. Now I've ignored my father all these years. Please, God. here anymore, Sam. I just can't. All right, look, I know that you're upset about Jesse, but trust me, you're gonna forget about her soon enough. No, I won't. I am destroying myself, Sam. I, can't you see what's happening to me? I've, I've neglected my fiance. I've been carrying on like, like some teenager, skipping church because I, I'm too hungover. This, this is not the lifestyle of a Christian. <laughs> what's so wrong with that? Sounds like you're having a good time to me. It's an empty lifestyle, Sam. I don't want any part of it anymore. I need to get right with God. Come on. What, so you're just gonna stop having fun so you can please an imaginary man in the sky? Listen to yourself, Luke. You realize how crazy you sound? It might sound crazy to you, but it makes perfect sense to me. I'll pray for you, Sam. Don't. Do not tell me that, Luke. I don't need your prayers, all right? I don't need anything. So forget about it. 
I don't need your God in my life. I am in control, me. Keep telling yourself that, buddy. Maybe one day you'll believe it. What are you doing here? Sam called, said he wanted to talk to me about something. Is it okay? No. But it will be. Take care of your unfinished business yet? Um, no, not really. I'm working on it. It's good, man. I'm sure it'll work out just the way you plan. I gotta run, but I'll see you around. Sam Herod. You a good lawyer? Of course I am. Can you drop some legal documents to make a property sale real quick? Sure. What are you selling? This place. You want it? <laughs> For what? Why would I want a, a bar? It doesn't have to be a bar. It can, or it can be whatever you want. Something came up and I need the cash. That's all. Wow, you must be desperate. Are you interested or not? How much? Lord, we come to you today on behalf of our dear brother. We pray that you will heal him. He was struck down by wicked men. We need a miracle, Lord. Show us your, your love, your compassion, and your mercy. Amen. Surprised to see you here. Did Sam drive you? No. No, I actually quit the bar today, Jesse. Good for you. I have to go. No, Jesse, wait. I know I've made a lot of mistakes, and I'm sorry. Believe me, it has been hard not having you around. Sorry. I'm just not ready yet, okay? Dad, it's me, Luke. Hi, Luke. Hi, Dad. Why don't, you, why don't you come on inside? I'm finding it hard to believe that I'm actually here right now. Luke's been a long, long, 
a long time. My uh, my sandwich needs it needs uh, something. Chili powder. You want some chili powder for your food? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. That's bland. Good one. Hey, Dad. Yeah, buddy. What was the biggest fish you ever caught? Well, that depends on whether you're talking about fresh water or salt water. What's the difference? Well, salt water's salty. It's the ocean, big fish in there, like uh, oh, whales and sharks. But fresh water is streams and ponds and rivers like this one right here. Fresh water. Fresh water, let me see. Uh, huh. Back when I was about your age, my dad and I, your grandpa, we once caught a 10 pound catfish right here in this river, just right up the way there a little bit. Wow, 10 pounds? Yeah. That weighs more than me. <laughs> no, no. That's a big fish, but it doesn't weigh more than you. You're a big boy. You're a really big boy. He's big, though. <laughs> Dad. Yeah, buddy. I don't ever want this day to end. I don't either. There you go. Thanks. There's good stuff. I don't spice it right up. <laughs> you and me had some, had some really great. Great times back in those days fishing, huh? <laughs> oh, hey, uh, who's the the girl I get on the phone every time I call? Is that that's your girlfriend? That is my ex fiance, actually. We're not seeing each other right now. Why? Why not? Was being a jerk. Listen, I know I have. I haven't done anything to deserve to be able to give you fatherly advice, but please don't make the same mistakes that I made. I never should have left your mother and I. I never should have left you. But I guess I just felt I wasn't ready for that kind of life. It's in the past now. No, it's in the past, but it still hurts. I would like you to please, please forgive me for the things that I, I, I didn't do. I'm sorry too, Dad. You know, I shouldn't have been ignoring you all these years. I guess, I guess I just wasn't ready. I love you so very much. And I wanted to tell you that for so very long. But I didn't think that you'd believe me. Oh, there's so much I wanted to talk to you about. So much I want to ask. Well, you talk to me about anything you want. You ask me anything you want. Because you know what? We have the rest of our lives to get reacquainted. What do you say we start by not eating this food? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I, just, I don't have it in me. <laughs> All right, yeah. Well, uh, 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 catfish. That sounds good. Yes, catfish. <laughs> All right, uh, where's the best place? You know better than I do.
excuse me, doctor. Oh, Mr. Rogers. Yeah, uh, I'm here to see Thomas. How is he? I don't know how to tell you this. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, he was in such awful shape this morning, I didn't think he was gonna make it through the rest of the day. But somehow, he almost fully recovered. I guess you could say it's some sort of miracle. Can I go see him? Sure, go right in. Thank you, doctor. You're alive. Yeah, the Lord would take care of me. Yeah, you and Reverend Keeley must have been praying pretty hard. Well, the whole church was, actually. I can't wait to tell everyone the good news. What happened to George? Well, he's been booked for attempted murder. Him and his friends are being held down at the county jail. When I get out, I'm gonna go and see him. I think that's why he brought me back. God's work still gotta be done. Grub is pretty good. Can I share some with you? Thanks, but I just had dinner with my dad. Huh. Did you see your dad? <laughs> yeah, we're we're uh, we're talking again. Well, hallelujah again. <laughs> Today is a good day, huh? Sam? What are you doing here? I thought you might be here. Like, I need your help. I already told you what you need to do. Okay, what else do you want from me? Lou? Wait. There's something I need to tell you. It's been eating me alive the past few days. What is it? I'm the one that killed that bum, Luke. What? I didn't mean to. It was an accident. He just, he jumped out in front of my car. Sam, were you drinking and driving? Who else knows about this? No one. No one. You're the first person I told. God, I see his face, Luke. I see it in every puddle of water. I, I see it in every mirror, in every shot glass. I can't take this anymore. You have to turn yourself in, Sam. You have to. No, I'm, I'll go to jail. Why would I turn myself in? It's the right thing to do. It's the only thing to do, Sam. I need you to help me get out of the country, Luke. That would, that would take a lot of money. Besides, what is that going to solve? You think you can just run away from anything you don't like? I sold the inferno to Matthew. You sold the club to Matthew? Unbelievable. I need your help. What else can I do? If you want. I'll give you a ride to the sheriff's office. Other than that, you'll receive nothing from me. You once told me that I need to man up and take control of my life. I think it's about time you took your own advice. I need to turn myself in for a hit and run accident. I'll need to get a statement. Hey, I'm gonna help you through this, okay? You're doing the right thing. You just gotta be strong.
You're gonna need to come with me. Come on. What are you doing here? They told me at the shelter you like to uh, take your lunch breaks here, so. Jesse, just, just wait. I have nothing left to say to you, Matthew. Just want you to know that I'm now the proud owner of the Inferno. Sam sold it to me this morning. Why would he do that? I don't know. He said he wanted to get out of town or something. Matthew, I told you to go back to New York. <sighs> don't you see what, what I've done for us? You can, you can turn that building into anything you want. A beauty shop or... <sighs> No flowers. Go home, Matthew. What are you doing here? I work here now. Pastor Keebley agreed to give me some odd jobs around the church. You know that Sam sold the bar to Matthew? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Why is Sam so anxious about leaving town all of a sudden? Sam just turned himself in for the murder of Harry. That lunatic killed Harry. He has a sickness. Okay, he's an alcoholic. He, he was driving drunk that night and he panicked and fled, okay? That, that is no excuse for what happened, but... It was an accident. Why didn't you tell me this? I just found out. Jesse. Luke. Wait. Wait. Let her go. She just needs a little time. Are you sure you want to do this? I mean, the guy almost beat you to death. Matthew 5, 44. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. Luke, give me a minute. I'll be right over there if you need me. I'm probably the last person you expected to see visiting you. You don't have to talk. I can do enough talking for the both of us. George, I didn't come here to ask you why you did what you did to me. I came here to forgive you. And I'm gonna pray for you. Now, I know that's something you don't wanna hear. Believe me. Be real easy for me to have great resentment and hate for what you did to me. I assure you, the unwillingness to forgive is a huge wall to climb. But the Lord has taught me that it's not my role to judge, that I, someone who has been as guilty of sin and failure as anyone. If I want to ask for forgiveness, then I got to be willing to give it. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. So, George, I forgive you. I want you to have this. I've, uh, I've underlined some passages that I want you to read. Oh, yeah. 
See you next week. Come on, let's go. Can't seem to get away from Christians these days. Me neither. Some guy left this for me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16. Right? I must have heard that passage a thousand times, you know, when I was younger. Yeah. There's always some nut at the baseball game holding up that sign. It's funny, I heard that passage so many times, but I never actually understood it. Until now. Thank you, Lord, for getting me to this day.